hi there welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet a christmas gnome it's pretty easy pattern even good for beginners and i'll show you step by step how to make this cute christmas decoration so let's begin For this project you will need any chenille yarn. I will use uh, Dolphin Baby from Himalaya brand, it's 100% polyester and I will put all information about yarns in description of this video. You will need also fluffy yarn called Mink from Yarn Art and you need um, light pink color like this for nose and you will need 4.5 millimeters crochet hook hollow fiber pair of scissors sewing needle and sewing thread I'm going to start with magic ring if you don't know how to make magic ring just click the link above the right corner or in description of this video then chain one and seven single crochets into the magic ring and we will count this chain on start like single crochet so you will have eight single crochets so make seven single crochets into the magic ring And we are making the body of Nom. Then pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. And now we have to join the round with a slip stitch. So you can see the chain on start and now count from the right side to the left and into the seventh stitch so this is first stitch there you have to make slip stitch use stitch marker because we will work in round so you have to mark the start and now I'm going to uh, hide the tail behind my work and we will increase every stitch so make two single crochets in every stitch all the way around and at the end of this round you need to have 16 stitches In the next round we will increase every second stitch so make two single crochets in the first stitch this is one and to make one more single crochet in the same space then make just one single crochet in the next stitch then make two single crochets again so you will make two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around and at the end of this round you must have 24 stitches in this round we will use back loop behind the chain so i'm going to show you where is the back loop we will not uh, use stitches like before like in previous rows this is stitch this is front loop back loop and this is back loop behind the chain behind stitches so we will use this this back loop
So I'm going to just finish the round. So make slip stitch in the next in last stitch and then start new round with chain one and then make one single crochet in each this back loop all the way around. It will be a little harder to use these loops but be patient, work slowly and it will be just in this round. So make one single crochet in each this uh, back loop all the way around and you will have 24 stitches again at the end of this round. And at the end of this round make a slip stitch. Okay and now we are going to uh, we are going to use stitches again, so make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and you will have 24 stitches at the end of this round. And if you have problem with the back loop behind the chain, you can use the back loop in the chain so just back loop I'm going to show you what I mean just this this is front loop and this is back loop so you can use this back loop Okay, now we are going to decrease. So decrease the first stitch. So make two single crochets together and then make one single crochet in the next uh, three stitches. And then decrease again. So make two single crochets together. Then make one single crochet in the next three st stitches and we will decrease every fourth stitch all the way around like this. So you have to decrease five times in this round. So I am decreasing every fourth stitch. And at the end of the round, you need to have 19 stitches. And this is our last decrease. And you have two stitches left. So make one single crochet in next two stitches. In the next two rounds make one single crochet. So next two rounds will be without change. Make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around in two rounds. So we have still 19 stitches in this round. And now you can make circle from some paper box and put it on the bottom of the body of norm and you will make better shape and it will stand on the desk or table better. So now we have to decrease again. So decrease first two stitches, make two single crochets together and then make one single crochet in next two stitches. Then decrease again. So make two single crochets together. So in this round we are decreasing every third stitch all the way around. So we have decreased five times in previous round and now just make one single crochet in each stitch all the way 
around in two rounds. So it will be two rounds without chains and at the end of the round you should have 14 stitches. And now it's time for hollow fiber, so stuff the body of norm, but don't overstuff the body of norm. So put there just little hollow fiber. And then we will close the hole and finish the body of norm. Make two single crochets together in each stitch till the hole is closed and at the end make a slip stitch. Okay, we have done the body of norm and now we are going to make the beard. So take the fluffy yarn and we will use double yarn because it will be better work with it and it will look nicer. Start with the slip knot and then chain 11 it will be a little harder work with this fluffy yarn but be patient and work slowly and you have to count because uh, stitches will not be visible well Now we are going to make half double crochets and start in the second in the second chain. So you have to touch it and find the second chain and there you have to make one half double crochet. Then make one half double crochet in each chain across. Now chain one and turn your work and then make one half double crochet in each chain across and start in very first stitch. Then repeat it in two more rows so you will have four rows together. Okay, now chain one, turn your work and now make one half double crochet in the second stitch. So touch and, and uh, find the second stitch and there make one half double crochet. Make one half double crochet in each stitch nearly to the end, uh, but stop before two stitches at the end. Okay, I have two stitches left and in this row we have to uh, decrease these two stitches. So make two half double crochets together. You have four loops on your hook and then pull the yarn through all four loops. Then chain one, turn your work. And repeat it again. So start in the second stitch, make one half double crochet, then make one half double crochet in each stitch nearly to the end. Stop again uh, before two stitches at the end. 
and we will decrease again so in previous row you should have eight stitches and in this row you should have six stitches at the end okay now i have two stitches left so make two half double crochets together Then chain one, turn your work and repeat it again to the end till you have one stitch left. So I have one stitch left, so make one half double crochet. And this is last half double crochet. Then just make a slip stitch and it's done. If you will have any question, just write me here below the video. Or you can write me also on my Instagram profile at Thomas Sheep. Okay, now let's make the hat. So start with magic ring, chain one, and then make five single crochets into the magic ring. And we will count the chain on start leg single crochet. So together you will have six single crochets. So chain one and now make five single crochets into the magic ring. Then pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. And join it around with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Mark the start because we will work in a round. And then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together and I'm going to hide the tail starting tail behind my work because it's easier for me so you can follow me if you want it's better than saw the tail inside the hat Okay, I have done two rounds of single crochets and now we are going to increase. So increase first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch. And then make just one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, make two single crochets again. So in this round, we have to increase every second stitch so make two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around and at the end of this round you must have nine stitches okay now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together so you will make two rounds without change and at the end of the second round you should have nine stitches now we have to decrease now we have to increase i'm sorry we have to increase again so increase the first stitch make two single crochets in the first stitch and then make just one single crochet in the next two stitches so in this round in, in this round we have to increase every third stitch you will make two single crochets in every third stitch all the way around so at the end of this round you must have 12 stitches And then make again one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together.
Now increase again, so make two single crochets in the first stitch, then make just one single crochet in the next three stitches. So in this round, we are increasing every fourth stitch. So make two single crochets in every fourth stitch all the way around. And at the end of the round, you must have 15 stitches. Now make two rounds of single crochets again. So make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. Now increase again, so make one single oh, I'm sorry, two single crochets in the first stitch, then make just one single crochet in next three stitches. So in this round, we are increasing every fourth stitch as a, every fourth stitch again. At the end of the round, you should have uh, 18 or 19 stitches. Now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make two rounds together. Okay, and this is last round of increasing. So make two single crochets in the first stitch then make just one single crochet in the next three stitches. So in this round, we are increasing every fourth stitch. So at the end of the round, you should have 22 or 23 stitches. And now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, just one round and meet me back again at the end of the round. Now make a slip stitch and we will make last round with chain one, start with chain one and make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around because we, we uh, worked in the round so we have to make um, straight edge of the head so that's why I started new round. And now make a slip stitch. You can make a slip stitch like always you do, like this, <laughs> or you can follow me and I'm going to pull the yarn. So you can cut the yarn and then pull it through. And just follow me and make a slip stitch like this. So you will insert your hook from the other side, from the wrong side of head and pull it through like this. No, oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't right uh, stitch. So I'm going to do it again. So this is right stitch, pull it through, pull it through again and now pull it through the middle of first stitch. And then you will just hide the tail. Uh, you will sew the tail inside the hat by yarn needle or by your crochet hook. Now let's make the nose. So start with magic ring and then chain one. This chain we will count like single crochet again and then make 
three single crochets into the magic ring. So you will have four single crochets together. Then pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. Join the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Now you can mark the start if you want, because we will work in a round, but I will just count. And make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So in this round you should have eight stitches at the end. In the next round we will not increase, we will not decrease, so make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and at the end of the round you should have again 8 stitches. Okay, in next round we are going to decrease, so make two single crochets together like this and make about six two single crochets together, so <laughs> uh, make, make it six times, decrease six times, so two single crochets together in each stitch. So we are decreasing in this round every stitch. And that's all. And then you can make a slip stitch and cut a yarn. We will not close the hole because we don't need it. You will saw the nose to the uh, body so or to the beard so it's no need to close the hole Okay, and last step is you have to sew all parts together and you have to sew all ends of yarn inside. And I will sew all parts together by sewing thread, white and grey sewing thread and by sewing needle. And I will use invisible stitch, but you can use what stitch you want, your favorite stitch, the sewing thread will not be visible. And this is my Christmas gnome, I hope you like it, if you do just put the thumb up and see you next time.